we discussed about a crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes. Crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes. So we know that uh, tetrahedral complexes are uh, oriented like this. So here one ligand, another ligand, another ligand, the final ligand. So which are connected together like this. So this is the tetrahedral molecule. In the tetrahedral molecule, the x, y, z uh, axis are uh, oriented like this. This is the x axis, z axis, y axis, x, y, z. So in, in these three cases, so now here in the formation of uh, tetrahedral complexes, the ligand approaches to the central metal atom neither through the along the axis set uh, nor through the in between the axis set. Now, so however, the somewhat which is closer to the T2G orbital set, which was explained like this. Now, let us assume a cube. Here, the distance of cube is A. So, the ligands uh, orientation of uh, in between the in between the axis ligands like this. Now, the distance between the ligand and the orbital probability is A by 2. Distance is equal to a by 2. So, in case of uh, uh, T2G set orbital, T2G set orbital. But in case of uh, along the axis orbital, this is a DZ square orbital, DZ square. Now, here the distance between the, so T is equal to A by 2. Now here the distance between the orbital. So now we know that uh, here it is nothing but a diagonal. So half of the diagonal. So now diagonal of the cube is equal to root to 2a. So now diagonal of the cube is equal to root to 2a. Now the distance between the ligand, uh, ligand and uh, d orbital is uh, root to 2a by 2. Root to 2a by 2. So root to 2a by 2 means uh, approximately 1.7 which is uh, far away from that of uh, root a root a by 2 a, sorry which is a uh, which is closer to tetrahedral complexes ligand when compared to this one when compared to this one now based on this tetrahedral complexes is splitting like this so whenever we have the d orbitals which are phi orbitals t2g and eg set so it, it gets the spherical coordination now here degenerated state degenerated d orbital whenever the ligand approaches to the central metal atom the ligands approaches to the central metal atom which are somewhat closer to the t2g set of orbital t2g set of orbital so which is far away from the eg set of orbital so the ligand electrons and the T2G set of electrons, uh, they both are repelled to each other. They both are repelled to each other. So, the T2G set orbital repelled to each other. So, the, that repulsion will give rise to higher energy than it is higher energy orbital. Now, the remaining R to R lower energy orbital. This set of orbitals is uh, nothing but T2 orbital. These orbitals are a set of E orbitals. Now it is a Barry center. So the above one here, three orbitals can distribute their uh, splitting energy. So now here the distance is nothing but uh, delta T. Here three orbitals uh, can uh, distribute the, can participate the uh, splitting energy, but uh, remaining two are there, two by five. Now here three by five, that means uh, in between them, uh, in bottom, 0 0.6 which are uh, negative lower the energy that means it is a uh, 0.6 delta o now here it is 0.4 delta o 
So we did not uh, consider delta T here. After the after some time, we will take the uh, unit conversion of delta O to delta T. So here, this is the crystal field splitting energy. So, so now here, three orbitals can possess us with 0 0.4 delta O, which is positive. Now here, which is negative, which is negative. This is the crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes. Now here, the term G is not present. G is not represented in case of tetrahedral complexes. So that means, so if any molecule or object can possess us with inverse and center, then it's said to be symmetry. If I is present, then it is called a symmetry. Whenever the symmetry orbital is known as a zeroed orbital, symmetry orbital is known as a zeroed orbital. Now, we, 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 in case of uh, octahedral complexes, uh, here the center of say in, inversion center is nothing but uh, a center a center point which having the which possess the a plane or imaginary axis. So those opposite ligands are equal. Now here octahedral cases it is equal. That's why it is represented the term G. Now, in case of tetrahedral complexes, in case of tetrahedral complexes, that term zeroed we did not observe here. That term zeroed we did not observe. So that means uh, it is a non symmetry. That's why tetrahedral complexes, no symmetry, no center of symmetry. No need to indicate a zeroed or unzeroed term. Zeroed or unzeroed term. Now the conversion of a delta O to delta T like this. So now here according to experimental condition, delta O is equal to the 9 by 4 of delta T, which is also represented like this. Delta T is equal to 4 by 9 of delta O. That means uh, so 4 delta O is equal to the 9 delta t. So, 4 times a delta O energy is equal to the 9 times of delta t energy. So, whenever uh, crystal field stabilization energy of uh, tetrahedral ligands like this, so plus 0 0.6 into, so bottom one is plus 0 0.6 into Eg plus, sorry here, minus 0 0.6 into NEG plus 0 0.4 into T2G delta t plus pairing energy delta t plus pairing energy now we want to so now here it is a delta o we want to convert this is a delta t then it is minus 0 0.6 into n e g plus 0 0.4 into n t to g sorry here only e not g n t to then 4 by 9 into delta t plus pairing energy 4 by 9 into delta t plus pairing energy so the 4 by 9 means approximately it is a 0 0.5 0 0.45 so this 0 0.45 will multiply with them 6 4 are 24 6 5 are 3 that means approximately minus 0 0.27 into me plus 0 0.4 into delta t plus pairing energy delta t plus pairing energy this is the crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complexes formula plus crystal field splitting in tetrahedral complex formula now now we discuss the crystal field splitting in square planar complexes square planar complexes so the general terminology of square planar means uh, so now we know that uh, the shape of uh, octahedral so here ligands oriented like this ligand 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 so whenever these two are the x and y axis x axis y axis now here z axis so whenever here the removal of z axis now we will get a, a complex here only x and y this is called square planar complexes square planar complexes which is nothing but a square planar complex so now here only x and y orbital can only repel to each other those x y orbital can get the more and more higher energized molecules then, then those are placed at the top of the energy diagram top of the energy diagram now we discuss the crystal field splitting in square planar complexes 
so which is came from the after hurdle that's why it is first splitted uh, like after hurdle manner then after it it uh, it splitted further ones now we know that uh, d orbital whenever they get the energized in spherical coordination those all are degenerate d orbital degenerate d orbital so those degenerated d orbital can split to two types in presence of a octahedral manner then this this is nothing but a delta o here minus 0.4 here plus 0.6 this is called a t2z this is known as a eg orbital so whenever here two types of uh, orbitals are present dx square y square dz square now here dxy dyz dz square D, sorry dyz dzx dzx now in case of square planar complexes so the ligand approachment on the x and y axis only on the x and y axis only now here it having the dx square y square dz square now it get further splitting takes place now it here further splitting takes place x square y square orbital gets higher energy x square y square orbital gets higher energy when compared to dz square d z square again the bottom also the t2g set also gets a further splitting takes place then it becomes x y orbitals can only ripple to each other ripple to d orbital of d electrons of a metal then it gets a higher energized then it becomes a d x y the remaining two are d x z d y z d x z d y z but uh, whenever here only we have the only x and y axis there is no z axis but uh, z axis occupies the higher position z axis occupies the higher position so that's why uh, again it is furtherly split into another energy level then dx square y square gets the topmost energy and this is dx square y square then here x y orbitals having the more energy due to the more and more repulsion then it gets a higher energy when compared to d z square so now d z square can be stabilized then it becomes a d z square so the remaining two are occupies like this d x z d y z d x z d y z this is the uh, square planar splitting square planar splitting so now mulliken gives the some symbols uh, those are b 1 z b 2 z a 1 z easy these are the symbols now uh, with the help of these symbols we can uh, conclude that the john teller distortion john teller distortion now here d x square y square d z square d x y d x d x z d y z this splitting is nothing but uh, square pyramidal splitting square pyramidal splitting also so now we use the square pyramidal splitting i think uh, previous year question came from either square pyramidal or pentagonal bipyramidal so the highest uh, so it's not it is it belongs to tetra, trigonal bipyramidal i think now here dx square y square dz square dxy dx dxz dyz is nothing but a square pyramidal splitting also now again it is also a tetragonal elongation tetragonal elongation now we discussed about uh, crystal field splitting in tetragonal elongation molecules and tetragonal compression molecules of uh, octahedral so now so octahedral means uh, it is a uh, degenerated d orbitals i give the a trim, a simple trick manner so now it is a uh, already degenerated orbitals then it gets crystal field splitting with the help of octahedral structure like this t2z and easy set t2z and easy set so now the eg orbital furtherly it is a splitter like a tetragonal elongation means uh, xy orbitals can uh, closer to come come to closer together then it gives uh, xy orbital get more repulsion and uh, it occupies at a higher position in energy barrier so now this is a dx square y square this is a dz square in this case dxy upper the position remaining to r dzx and dyz so according to mulliken symbols so those are the b1z a1z b2z easy now now however this is also uh, apl applicable in a tetragonal elongation case tetragonal elongation now the tetragonal compression like this tetragonal compression so now here it is also split into two types like a octahedral manner 
So here furtherly splitted that means a compression means a x square y square orbital go long away but uh, dz square y square orbital come closer to the dz square orbital come closer to the metal atom comes to closer to the metal atom that's why dz square orbital can get more and more energy more and more repulsion than those are placed at a higher position now here dz square dz square dx square y square it is dz square now again it is also splitted like this here dxz dyz this is nothing but eg orbital so the final one is dxy dxy so dxy is nothing but b2g this is eg so now here dx square y square is nothing but b1g it is a1g b1g a1g so these are the energy profile diagram of uh, tetragonal elongation as well as a tetragonal compression molecule so maybe question asked like that uh, so in tetragonal elongate, elongated uh, complexes uh, higher energy orbital molecular symbol is maybe it is b1g or a1g b2g easy so the answer is b1g in case of uh, tetragonal compression answer is uh, a1g now we discussed uh, crystal field splitting in different uh, geometries like a uh, square prism square anti prism uh, trigonal bipyramidal pentagonal bipyramidal trigonal prism square anti prism trigonal planar such type of the molecules now i'll give the very simple and trick manner so first of all we give the energy ba energy barrier so the first one is trigonal bipyramidal trigonal bipyramidal now here so the energy of the molecule like this dz square now the remaining r dx square y square dz square sorry dxy so the remaining two are dxz dyz dxz and dyz so in case of pentagonal bipyramidal so the upper and lower one is the same dz square d xz as well as dyz but uh, dx square y square dz dxy orbitals can get a higher energy level when compared to trigonal bipyramidal so this is also uh, uh, this is also we understood in uh, uh, in theoretical manner pentagonal bipyramidal means an axis passes through the two corners so that that's why the two ligands can comes to come to closer to the metal atom through the single axis that's why x square y square xy orbitals gets more and more energy when compared to trigonal bipyramidal so here only one axis can only passes trigonal bipyramidal means only one axis like x or y axis only one is possible possible through the trigonal bipyramidal molecule so this is nothing but a crystal field splitting in trigonal bipyramidal as well as pentagonal bipyramidal molecule now again i'll give the hint about a uh, uh, trigonal prism trigonal prism in square anti prism square anti prism now here in case of square anti prism which is quite opposite to the uh, pentagonal bipyramidal that is nothing but dxz dyz so the remaining are dz square over there now this is dx square y square the x square y square in case of trigonal bipyramidal so the first one is common the first one is common in case of uh, dxz and dyz but uh, the remaining two are like this now we are dz square and dx square y square dx y dx square y square dx y so these are the different uh, crystal field splitting in uh, like a trigonal bipyramidal pentagonal bipyramidal square anti prism trigonal anti prism Thank you for watching.